like, oh yeah, she need to step away, that's bad, da da da. You did it like, okay, I don't care what y'all what gotta say. They were like, hey, come back over here. You like, well, I'm hot. Just like you grown, we grown too, so who are you talking to? If you not feeling something, let us know. We'll alter it, we'll, we'll figure out how to make things different. But it's about how you say it. Cause if you saying it as if you have an attitude, we gonna come at you like, we got an attitude too. Yeah, Alicia just, yeah, she complained a lot, but they ain't got shit to do with me. That's her business. If she want to complain, she complain. I don't complain, so I ain't really give a fuck about none of that shit that was going on. I have the girls doing a content shoot. Real baddies have to do content shoot at least every day of the week. So, I wanted to give them a piece of my life. You guys have five minutes to get dressed, and you have to get dressed in the car. Let's see if they accomplish that. All right, y'all, so we have the girls here in this lot. To me, this is art because it's a place where I can take photos. It's a place that I can be, where I can be myself, create content for y'all. So to them, they probably like, why are we out here? Like, what is this? They're about to take photos. We got the photographer. We got Jania to tell them what they doing right and wrong. And they got a place to get dressed. And it's gonna be in the van. Y'all probably thinking in the van, yes. Sometimes I gotta get dressed in the van, in the airport, wherever I am. If I don't have enough time to go home and get myself together, I gotta make it happen. ASAP, hello. So I'm about to go let them know. Y'all about to get their raw reaction of how they really feel about this. Let's go. thinking what we doing here what y'all think we're gonna be doing y'all like yeah. finna do a photo shoot okay. y'all finna take y'all on photos we got a photographer for y'all okay. i told y'all to bring some change of clothes i know y'all got y'all change of clothes yeah. so y'all got six minutes to get dressed in the car y'all got six minutes to get dressed <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh, oh. Cool In the car? Yes, in the car. Put it on. I'm ready to see them. And oh my gosh, I forgot about Juju. She's in the car asleep. So now I have to go over here and wake her up. And she only had 50 seconds to get dressed. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. So I set, my time, uh, I set my timer for six minutes. The time is winding down. They got five minutes and 21 seconds they gotta hurry up they gotta make sure they're on point because once those six minutes up they're not gonna have time to get dressed it's time to take these photos hopefully they're ready but we'll see i, I ain't gonna let the <laughs> getting dressed in the van that wasn't even, it wasn't a problem for me i done had to i done had to i done did some shit in my life and um i don't i got a pass i do i got a pass and and um my lifestyle used to consist of me having to get back dressed in the car. So, you know, that was kind of, it was, it actually, it brought back a little bit of memories, you know, getting dressed in the car. It was crazy to me, you know, but I, 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 I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I ain't had nothing to say about getting dressed in the car. I think getting dressed in the car was fun. First off, I was asleep, so I'm like, the other girls have five minutes and I have one minute. So I'm like, damn, I really just need to hurry up and get ready. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't even know we were gonna do a photo shoot, so it's very unexpected, but I still came ready. Surprise, hoes! Ooh! Ooh. And it smells good up in here. Okay, Nana. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Time's up, six minutes. Y'all did that. Y'all ready, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Girl! <laughs> All right, ladies, come on around. We will tell you. All right, y'all, so we're about to take some photos. You guys are about to get critiqued. You're about to stand in front of this camera, pose how you're going to pose, and we're going to tell y'all how we think you should pose. And yeah, y'all going to get y'all pictures, y'all going to look at y'all pictures, and that's just what's about to happen. Y'all ready? Y'all ever did a photo shoot before? Y'all yeah. take photos, y'all create content. 
Oh, y'all get over here, y'all see it? You never had a photo shoot before? It's just like taking a picture in front of your phone. With big flashes, with a lot of cameras, and a lot of eyes. It'll be fine, man. Yeah. yeah. It's intimidating, but y'all got it. Y'all got y'all best fits on. So I think y'all ready. Y'all ready to head over to the set? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so we have the photographer here and we have our props. We're gonna utilize this pole right here. We're gonna pick three girls, three girls. We're gonna pick three girls to start with the pole. So y'all wanna volunteer wanna... or you want us to pick y'all? You wanna go? One, two, third person, three. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off doing a group shoot because sometimes you have to work with a brand, sometimes you have to work with other people and you need to learn how to work with other people. Don't you agree? That's what I'm We're about to teach them how to pose and what to do in a content shoot. Let's get it. So first of all, we in a shoot, like any type of shoot, any type of moment when I'm shooting me or when I'm with a client or whatever, think of something that you're selling. Because nine times out of 10, that's what you're doing. You're selling something. Whether it's the top, whether it's the hair, whether it's the pants, whether it's the shoe. Think of something that you're selling so you can kind of get a focal point and know how to give what you're trying to give. Not just immediately or, you know what I'm saying? Just period. Like, give me, give me some fashion. Give me something. Give me something else. You know, think about it. What you're selling. What you want to sell. What you got on right now? Your shoes. Perfect. What you got on right now that you want to sell? Sell the bob. Let's sell the bob. Okay. Bob is your focus. So you want to give sex appeal? Yes. I'm trying to sell my face. Period. So give me what y'all got. Give me what y'all just sold. So I feel like Frankie gave them good fashion tips. They didn't know where they were going, so I don't think they were prepared. That goes back to you have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So I really loved the first group. I felt like they complimented each other and those pictures were so cute. Can I get my next set please? When I'm doing any kind of shoot, regardless if, I'm, if it's me or a client, I think it's something that I'm selling. So a focal point, if I wanna focus on my jacket, my jewelry, my pants, the bag, anything. Find that focal point in your head because that'll help you pose better. You know what I'm saying? It's easier than it sounds, trust me. So what do you wanna sell? What do you got on right now that you wanna sell? Perfect, easy. Think about selling your top, exactly. What you got on right now you wanna sell, babe? Perfect, easy. What you got on right now? We gonna sell them shoes. <laughs> Just cause I know you don't want to. We gonna sell them shoes. All right, ladies, give me what you got. Next we have La Porsche, Pluto, and Nay. Y'all, they look crazy. It, I just didn't, I just didn't feel like it went. Like, we would tell them to do different poses, but it doesn't matter what pose we had them do, it did not go together. All beautiful ladies, but I didn't like the group. This one. Don't play with her. Okay. Don't play with her. We selling shoes, mama, right? So you can come right here and just give me like one of these. Easy, classic. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna get you right here. Put this right here in the front. And then, just like that. We're gonna get you right here. And not so watch much it. like right in the front, but like more no, like let it go. Watch me. Like this. And like it down. No, just rock with it down. Not just hold your teeth. I always had a vision for some reason that I wanted to be a model. 
And it's crazy because I had low self-esteem. I didn't have that much confidence in myself. But I always, for some reason, I'm like, I'm gonna be a model one day. So I love pictures, I love cameras. Uh, so when they said a photo shoot, I was just happy. Like, I mean, we about to have a photo shoot. The only thing is I didn't know that we was gonna do it all together. But if it was, I think it was cool that we did it together. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Me one. Turn, turn around. around. Turn around. To the back. And like this. Yep. Yeah. But hold your neck like straight. Yeah. And That's put your it. head like right here. So one they more see. Shot. Yep. One more shot. Hold it. Yep. Ready. Three, two, one. Period. And that's a wrap. Yeah. You see the next one. The next one. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now we have Nunu, Janae, and Iwin. I like the fact that they all had confidence and they swapped out. Like somebody was in the middle one time and then, you know, um, someone else came in the middle. No one tried to be the main character in that group. And I really, really love that about them. Whatever I'm wearing, something I got on the sale. So make it count. What you trying to sell that you have on right now? I guess the top. Love it. What you selling you got on? Period. What you selling you got on? I guess I'm sure. We're gonna do that. So give me what you got. So more. Last yeah. two. That ain't count, let it work. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm talking to the ladies, and now I'm about to show them how the queen, Janine Michelle, gets it done. It's not always easy, but you have to be able to do it in front of a crowd, by yourself, no matter who's watching. You have to be comfortable in your own skin. That's a true baddie. So I went ahead and took me some pictures, cause why not? And I'ma let Frankie give me some ideas like he was giving y'all ideas. Y'all ready? Yeah. 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 When Janelle went up, she just did it with no effort. Like, it was just so easy. I wouldn't have thought to do none of the stuff she was doing. Like, she looked real good. Eye contact, serious face, everything was on point. Okay, you gotta show the shoes, gotta show the shoes. The shoes in Port Johnson, that's what we tell them to So, y'all was, so I saw a lot of y'all doing, like, low poses. I don't really do low poses. You don't, we don't say that one. And one thing about it, I don't smile. A lot of, people show, smile. A lot of people show teeth in pictures. And I saw a lot of y'all trying to smile a little bit. That's y'all. Me, I keep a straight face. I, I feel like I get more like a model. I'm gonna take myself out of here. But I feel like I get more like a model straight face, like. Sensual eyes. Yeah, sensual. Because when you taking a picture, you want somebody to feel you through that picture. Like, ooh, I wanna, I want that. Like, I wanna, I, I want her. Or, oh, she look good. Or, oh, she look pretty. You know what I mean? Exactly. You gotta make them feel you through the picture. So how y'all feel? How y'all feel about everything? Cause we talked about how we feel, but we ain't get y'all input. How y'all feel? I want honest opinions. Like if you hate it, you want, you wish you never happened. Like I want raw, honest opinions. Cause I want to be able to talk about it. I liked it, but I wish we could have, if I would have known we was going to photo shoot, I probably would have picked a different outfit. But I like, I enjoyed doing it. That's the thing, never know. I feel good, okay. confident. And it gave, it felt like I had the extra spot. Usually I don't. So right. it gave me the spot I actually wanted. So, and I liked the tips also, even though it said I ain't need as much. <laughs> but little tips go a long way. Little it's tip. just little stuff that you can alter. You know what I mean? Yeah, hello. Anybody else? 
I feel like I need a redo. Like I would've did my hair different, all that <laughs> shit, like. For real. That's the thing. Y'all will never know what's gonna happen. You will never but understand ever, ever. I feel like more so this show, you knew that you had to Just come prepared because you never knew what, what you y'all didn't know. You know what I mean? So I feel like more so you should have came ready the way you should have had you you wouldn't have had to get ready. That makes sense? But I feel like for the most part y'all got you guys pulled yourself together. Y'all look like pros to me. This was your first little shoe, huh, sister? What you talking? How you feel? I feel honestly horrible. <laughs> Why do you Why? feel horrible? I don't feel like I gave, honestly, because it's like my first time. I was nervous, real nervous as fuck. But yeah, I just feel like if I could redo it, I would redo something different. Yeah. A lot differently. Honesty. So what can you take and learn from it? Try a little harder, do a little bit. Where you going? That sun is like killing me, y'all. Like I feel like I'm about to pass out. Yeah, I don't know oh my gosh here we go again alicia is hot alicia is tired alicia don't want to get up goodness we understand but we're trying to do something i understand you're hot we're all standing in the sun just come on just be a team player that's what a true baddie is when is she going home i don't think she want to be here I don't think so either. We, Alicia, we all in the fucking sun, babe. We all over here. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, I don't even know why. Uh, I was, I was even told that I'm, I complain a lot because I don't think I do. All right then, she don't want to be a baby. That's just what it comes down to. All right. Cool. So, thank you guys for participating. We're about to head back to the house. Y'all about to be able to go wind down. And then tonight, we got something else for y'all. See y'all at the house. You know you're in trouble. It is, it is, it's always like a lot of complaining. Like, what? what did I complain about the first time? Last night, it was the makeup. Earlier, it was when I was saying something about the group. Like, it's always like an excuse. Like, I feel this way because. Y'all group. We selling the water. I didn't complain about the group. I was fine with being in the group. It wasn't about you complaining about the group. You all keep saying I'm complaining. What am I complaining about? You don't think you're complaining? No, I haven't complained that one time. What was that you just did? Cause I'm hot, I'm, I'm about to pass out. I was about to pass out. The sun was just beaming, I got this bang. It's just beaming on me. I ain't trying to be funny or nothing. I'm not trying to complain. But we all in the in sun. sun. I, and I feel Every like- Every single one of us in the sun. My feet hurt. I feel like I'm finna pass out. We all got issues that we don't speak upon. We all going through stuff that we don't speak upon. But when we're coming into work and we're coming in for opportunities, we put all that to the side. Like if I was going to an opportunity and I and I put my place in situations where I was going somewhere to grow, I was going somewhere to learn, I didn't say nothing. If of course if I was in a predicament to where it was like a life or death, I would be like, yeah, this is not right. But nothing that we're asking you guys are to do is is that. Or anything that we wouldn't do, because we doing it with y'all. Everything the same. You right doing the same thing. Absolutely. I'm not even going. I can't even say nothing because I feel like if I say something, I'm not No, we not to plan that. It's not even that. I feel like it's the way that you say it. Like if you was to say, hey y'all, I'm high. Like communication. Like when we were all over here, you and um what? I win. No, it wasn't I win. Who was it? The one with the blacks. Oh, I don't know. Nay. You guys nay. You guys were sitting over there and I'm like, okay y'all, come over here. She got up, you still sitting there on your phone. Like fuck what you gotta say. I'm still finna I'ma move when I wanna move. That's the that's what I got from it. And I'm just being honest, I'm gonna keep it real. That's what I got from you. So that's why I said, okay, y'all, come over here. And I'm not talking to nobody as you a child, whatever the case may be, because y'all grown women. But that's but, how I feel, though. It's like, I can't do nothing without getting badger. I keep being badger. It's like, y'all just keep picking on Alicia. We're picking and on I'm you? And I'm chilling, yes. I, I really feel like I'm you? chilling. I haven't done nothing wrong. So 
though you feel like you're not doing nothing wrong. What did I do wrong? I just stepped away. I should have said, excuse me, I'm gonna step Absolutely. away. Absolutely. There it go. Pass out. There it go. I should have said that. Right. But I didn't interrupt. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I should have said, excuse me, I'm about to walk away so I can step All away. Or right, not me. You could have pulled. Know. It's people standing around. You could have pulled anybody right. to the side like, hey, I need to step away. We not no bad people. We not going to be like, oh, yeah, she need to step away. That's bad. Da, da, da. You did it like, okay, I don't care what, what y'all got to say. They were like, hey, come back over here. You like, well, I'm hot. Just like you grown, we grown too. So who are you talking to? That's how, we, that's how I felt. That's how I took it. You get what I'm saying? So it's just a respect thing. We just want communication. That's it, that's all. Just like you want people to communicate with you, we want people to communicate with us. If you don't feel good, we understand that. Everybody's not their best at all times. So I think that's just the biggest thing, communicating. If you're not feeling something, let us know. We'll alter it. We'll, we'll figure out how to make things different. But it's about how you say it. Because if you're saying it as if you have an attitude, we're going to come at you like we got an attitude too. But we're not gonna do it to that level because we still have to be respectful. You get what I'm saying? This is not no on the street type of stuff. This is not something I met you in the club, I brought you around me, you my home girl. This is something that I'm doing to help women grow. Whether you like it or not, this is this is what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Alicia just, yeah, she complained a lot, but they ain't got shit to do with me. That's her business. If she want to complain, she complain. I don't complain, so I ain't really give a fuck about none of that shit that was going on. Without a problem with everything you asked me to do, I have been participating. This whole sick. Cool. You sick? What have, I, what have I not participated with? It's what not about not. Done? You said you ain't participating nothing without a problem. Yeah, I haven't Every done nothing. Every single but thing I haven't... you have given a lip about, babe. Even still oh, now, oh. it's just like yeah, I understand. I work for that. I do understand, and I said that. I just said I haven't done it. I have. What have I done wrong except for walking away? I understand that. Okay, I None. should have walked away without saying something. None. I understand that. You're doing great, babe. Y'all just had a whole fight. Everybody fight. Everybody fight each other. It's the whole fight. Hey, you was instigating the fight. You was instigating the fight. I jumped. Yeah. Okay. Right. This situation is crazy. It's crazy. I, I apologize. Yeah. It's just disrespectful. Yeah. And I'm not coming off disrespectfully. And I felt disrespected even yesterday. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That, especially it, that whole makeup shit was crazy. About it, nothing. Yeah, but it was even before that when everyone walked in, it was something. Yeah. Like from day one, it's been something. And then the day early with the whole Excuse fight me. shit. I'm sorry for letting that hurt get me out of my element. I didn't even want to do that. I got out of character. So I mean, like, we cool. I'm not finna bully her. Like, I'm not finna. You but sure? Because last time when we stepped away, but you tried to get as close as you I'm could. Not, I was just mad. Like, why would you sneak me? Like, right. why would you do that? That made me very frustrated. Right. But as I had time to think about it, I need to, like, just let it go because I already did what I needed to do. So it's like, there, okay. it's over with. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to be no bully. Like, um, it's over with. Like, yeah, okay. I feel like you did what you did. She did what she did. And I think you guys should be able to have a conversation, yeah. talk about it, and move on from it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because we still do have days in the house and we don't yeah. want y'all fighting every time y'all see each other. We can't yeah. keep y'all separated at all. So look, And on top of that, what was it about? After we finished talking to Alicia, here go Juju. But I was so proud of her because she said that she was ready to apologize to Iwin. And that shows growth. So somebody was sitting on my stuff. Okay. And I'm like, can I like have my on it. Yeah, so I'm like, can I have my stuff? And the camera's coming, so she's just rah, 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 rah. So I'm like, all right, like, just come outside. Cause I don't really like to argue. I'm not mm -hmm. an argue type. So I told her to come outside and I just couldn't resist it. So I just. You had to go sit I'm down. I'm not gonna lie, she was too close. Like if we too close, then it's, I, it's a mutual type of thing. Like, flight. I feel like you finna hit me, yeah. I'm gonna hit you first. I feel it, I and feel she, it. I guess she just wasn't ready. But so. that's very woman of you to come in, you know. Do what you just did. Yeah. I think okay. I, I appreciate it. So, that. would you be able to have a sit down with her? Yeah, I would. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make that happen for you guys to have a okay. sit down and talk about everything. Just please, no. Like, no fighting. No fighting. Okay. Because I'm I get mad she snuck me, but. She, okay. she did, she but you can't be mad at her. She had to get a look back somehow. Yeah. Like. yeah. Right. And she ain't never gotten a fight before. You was her first fight. Yeah. She probably lied. No. no. <laughs> <laughs>
We gonna be all right? Well, yeah. she gonna get on the bus. I'm gonna get off the bus. You gonna get off the bus? Yeah, I don't have time for that. Y'all, man, y'all can grow. Y'all will be all right. No, I'm gonna get off the bus. You wanna get off the bus? Yeah, she's gonna be on there. I'll ride in the car with y'all. She really wanna let it go. Like she I wanna to let it go, too, but I'm not gonna be on the bus with her. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Well, why don't you feel comfortable being on the bus? Well, I'm gonna ride in the car with y'all. She can stay on the bus. I think you should stay. Well, you can stay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, I'm See y'all at the house. We get back to the house and they want to get everybody phone because somebody recorded the fight on their personal phone and you know it definitely wasn't me because i i got in a fight i couldn't record nothing and it definitely wasn't juju look like we in a car and like i heard it's the video of the fight so like what's up who got a video of the fight because y'all not even supposed to have y'all phone out they signed non-disclosure agreements and all type non-competes all these things why y'all got y'all phone out when y'all find out who had that phone out, y'all gonna lose it. What happened? Huh? What happened? So basically we went over there talking about the fight and we had them put their phones on the table. I get word from production that somebody was recording the fight. Are you serious? So now we have to figure out who has the video. And not only do we have to figure out who has the video, have you sent it to someone? Is it hit, like, where is it? Okay, so, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Uh, we heard somebody got videos of stuff that should not be recorded. And I just wanna know who got the video. And I'm being dead serious, I'm not playing. Y'all gonna ask you if you got the video and say you got the video. Alright, Anthony, what's the next step? Next up is, we ain't gonna shoot no more. Simple. Because everybody have a contract. We advised y'all from the beginning. No filming, no recording at all. I let y'all take your little snippet pictures behind the scenes, cool. But we're not recording no more until we get this video. And as simple as that. Otherwise, everybody can go home. So who got the video? It ain't about rap. If you got the video, speak up on it. Because we're gonna find out either way. Okay. Okay. Nothing, nothing is. Is. No, simple. Who just got the video? Who have a video? I'm from the hood. Ain't no snitching going on. That ain't got shit to do with me. Look, it's a video, but I don't got that bitch. And they like, who got the video? And I'm like, bro, I'm not snitching. Hell no. Nah. I be damned if I sit up there and snitch on the next bitch. They don't snitch on me. I fuck around and beat up, bitch. Cause even though she showed me the video, it was just like, hell nah, like I can't snitch on her. I don't know you like this, but I can't snitch on you. That's some hoe shit, real life shit. Everybody put their phone on the table. Ebony went through everybody's phone, everybody's photos, and recently deleted. So when she was going through her recently deleted, Ebony saw the fight, but Ebony saw it before she can delete it. In her recently deleted. No. It was in her recently deleted. Yeah. Oh yeah. She had already deleted. Oh, but she, but she said she deleted it already, right? But she said she deleted a video of herself, not of the fight. Right. So when. Oh, when, and so then, when we were talking about it, she said, "Yeah, I had the fight, but I deleted it." So then, when she stood up, she said, "No, I was recording myself. I was talking about recording myself." So the girl next to her was like, "So do you have a video of the fight, or do you have a video of yourself?" And she said. Well, I have a video of myself. And so then we looking like, well, what you stand up for? Because you know that you was guilty. Mm -hmm. So after that, we like, okay, well, we checked the phones, we saw the fight. And Anthony's like, well, Jania, it's your decision. So I asked her, cause I really, just, I really just wanted to know, why did you record it? What was the whole purpose of you recording this fight? And I just wanted her to be honest, because I wanted to. Because I wanted, I want, I, I wanted to post it. 
Like I just wanted her to be honest. Whatever the truth was, I just wanted her to say the truth. Mm -hmm. She couldn't even give me that. I miss Bob is the motherfucker culprit. We went to go look at her Instagram. For my little Byron, so she went like, uh, baby, she all in her camera, ugly, bob, flowing, moving around, giddy bopping and all the things, everything. First of all, you're not supposed to be recording nothing. And she recording her, we don't know what's on her close friends, if she got up on her, what's she doing? She couldn't even be honest about that. What was her reason? What she her said? reason was, I was trying to record myself and I had too much stuff in my hand and I had just flipped it. She didn't even have a legit reason. And when Jania walks up, I stopped recording. But before that, she said, I started recording because they were about to fight. They were arguing. Well, I didn't know who had the video. I kind of thought it was Pluto. And if it wasn't her, she knew who it was, but I wouldn't have thought it was um, Lord Farquaad. I wouldn't have never thought it was her. Cause what was the point? So she just kept mixing up her words. She didn't know what she to say. The right. And so, so she wanted to be the camera. Yeah. yeah. But she got videos of you talking. She just have videos that she shouldn't have. And we don't know what's in it now. We don't know what she done deleted previously. We don't know what in her what's in her close friends. Oh, where she uploaded what, and deleted. What's on her Snapchat? She didn't go like, to the messages yet. Exactly. She's thin already. So, boom, we found who got the video. She had tried to delete it, but she ain't updated her phone. If she was a real bitch, she was smart. So on the new update, y'all know y'all recently deleted, got a lock on it. So if she was smart, she would've went on ahead and updated her phone. I would've been like, damn, y'all, my phone updated. I ain't. Bitch, I ain't do none of that. She said they ain't tried to delete it and handed her phone over to Ebony. Ebony ain't no dumb bitch at all by far. She, was, she didn't even go to the photo roll. She went to the recently deleted, bang, right there. How, how you forget to go empty out your reason to delete. So shout out to Apple, because honestly, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't call nothing. So it's just like, at this point, I don't trust you. And since I don't trust you, there's no need for you to be in the house. You don't wanna, you don't wanna Correct. really participate. You don't, yeah. you're always complaining. It's always a problem. You said that we were picking on you. When we don't have those problems with no one else. So since that's the case, we're just gonna do you a favor. It's we're just gonna let you go home. And I feel like that was the best decision. Through all of that, we found out that Alicia had the video and it got deleted, but it came with a cost. She had to go to. Damn, man. Honestly, you gotta go home. You, you, you gotta go home. Yeah, yeah. Ebony, mm -hmm. she gotta go. Okay. I agree, sister. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, it was nice getting to know you, but I was kind of fucked up, but you did, and I thought we were supposed to be homegirls, but you recorded me getting into a fight. I never even recorded yeah. you. That's what I just said. I said if I would have knew that, I would have like, really recorded it. I never nah, recorded you. Nah, you acted That's like crazy. you was on my side. That's you know crazy, though. And Sharon you won't just say you won't. Well, you listen Sharon to them, Rome's baby. Like, Go ahead. That's on you. Like you was on my side, and you wasn't. You was, we, you was being fake. On your side. And, you know, yeah, you acted oh, like you, not. But you didn't even see the video. You didn't no, even know what the but fuck look, happened. You, you like, look, 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 if that was you that got in the fight and somebody fighting, I would have jumped in it because we bonded from the get-go. You get what I'm saying? And for you just standing there trying to record shit and just trying Nobody to say Nobody trying to record you nothing, though. You did. When I came out you the house, y'all was already arguing. You tried to sell me out. And when I was, so you wanted you me got, to help you because you got, you got, you got, you got, you got jumped. jumped? No, no, no. Because you, you got sneaky. jumped, you wanted me to help you. You was being sneaky. Because you, you got, got jumped, you wanted me to help you. That's you why you mad right now. You got caught. That's why you mad you right now because you got your ass beat. No. Girl, I didn't Come on, man. Beat. Knock it off, man. Look, you can't fight, baby. Don't, don't put that on me, man. I never recorded you because I don't even give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about you to record you, baby. Like I said, when I was coming out the house, already I was recording. Nah. That's what the fuck going on. The fuck, girl? You, you got your ass beat, right. and that's just that. That's just is what it is. You, are you really mad? You been feeling that way the whole I'm time, right. clearly. You been feeling that way like I was supposed to help you. No, what I'm saying is okay. you just try to do some shisty stuff. That's girl, all. I never did nothing shisty. You just mm -hmm. did it because you got jumped and you got your ass beat. Thank you. Hey, right. it's okay. You'll be alright.
Okay, so I'm getting kicked out because I was honest. I feel like that decision was irrational. I feel like they should have um, talked about it. They should have talked talk to me. Hey, if you record anything, bitch, you gotta go. Don't pull that motherfucking phone out or bitch is a rap. I just feel like it was just a little bit too irrational. They move a little bit too quick. Um, you know, everybody make mistakes, but hey, it is what it is. I run a whole business back at home. Boss Fits Collections, come shop with me. So I just, I just, you know, just took a step out my element to try to make a change and make a better opportunity for me and my family. But it's okay, I'm gonna keep going. But other than that, they made their decision and I still appreciate her for giving me the opportunity. But it is what it is. I appreciate y'all, thank you. So Alicia got caught because she was the one that did it and she wasn't honest for from the beginning. Like you grown, if you did something, you did something, just own up to it. She got sent home and the whole house was happy. After talking with Frankie and Furley, you know them, they stood on what the decision was at first. But I just felt like it was something more. I just wanted to get down to it. I didn't really want to kick her out the house. I just wanted to know, why are you lying to me? What's going on? What made you really record that video? I just wanted the truth. What's going on? Because this, I really didn't want to do this. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you, which is why I even came outside. I just want to know, like, what's going on? Like, I just want the truth. That's it. So it was like a little bit, but it wasn't nothing. Mm -hmm. And I had deleted it. That's why I was already in my deleted messages when she told me to go there. Mm -hmm. But it's, so since I admitted to it, it was honest. But I feel like when we originally asked, mm -hmm. you should have been like, hey, yeah, I got it. I, I, I deleted it. But then when we talked, you did say, I have a video. But then when you stood up, you said, wait, I don't have a video. I have it on myself. You know what I mean? So it was just like, even though it was of yourself or you was recording yourself, whatever case maybe, it was still of what happened. You know what I mean? And I feel like it would have been more like, yeah, I did it. I, I, I understand that y'all didn't want me to do that. Now I understand and it won't happen again. Like, I feel like it should have been more of that. But instead, you were making excuses. Like, I was just trying to record myself and it ended up flipping. We, you know, if I'm recording myself, I'm recording myself. I'm not going to flip the camera. You recorded because you felt like, damn, they fighting. I'm about to, I'm about to get it. I'm about to record it. For whatever reason you wanted to record it, you was like, I'm about I to record like it. If I'm getting kicked up, I should have recorded the film, the whole film. But mm -hmm. I stopped it. Like, I did. I ain't even, I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't was even. It wasn't you know? about you recording it. It was about the fact that I feel like you lied about it. I just want you to be honest from like, this day on forward for life. I just if you did something, just say yeah, I did it. I it like is I what it is. I, I said I recorded it, and I said I, I said I didn't have it no more because I deleted it. And when I showed her, it was it was in my deleted messages. So I Will did say to replay these cameras. I didn't want to hear BS excuses, none of that. I just want you to own up to it because real baddies own up to what they said and they're standing on it forever. I did say I had it. Did I do not say I had the video? You said you had it at first and then you stood up and you said, oh wait. Cause they was like, where is it? And I was like, I don't got it no more. Cause I deleted it. Yeah, it was but you did. It was yeah. But I she, it had she it asked over. you, do you have it or not? And you said, no, I don't have it. And then you sat back down, I was recording myself. And then you sat back down, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then it was kind of like, well, where the, do you have it or do you not have it? So it just became more so a, a big thing when it should have just been, okay, I have it. Okay, let's delete it. That's just the end of that. We don't want y'all recording nothing like that. But that goes from Frankie talking, fights, conversations that we have and stuff that's going on in the house, like nothing. We don't want nothing recorded. That's why we have these guys here recording. So if you want to stay, you're more than welcome to stay. But if you want to leave, you're more than welcome to leave. So, 
I go outside, I saw her standing out there waiting on her car. So I went out there to speak to her. And the more we talked, I could tell that she was really apologetic about what happened. You gotta fix your attitude, babe. We gotta work on it. It's okay, you don't have to cry. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I thought you was really about to make me go. Girl, I peek around the corner, she, y'all, like, for real, I'm just trying to make it spicy. We didn't ask for none of that. We didn't ask you to lie, bitch. We just asked you to come and be you. And she just, y'all, like, I'm so sorry. Like, and at this time, she's sweating. This, cause her, the strands are sitting there stuck. Girl, stuck. She's sitting there crying, her is talking, and I'm just sitting there like, y'all finna let this bitch back? Lo and behold, they let the whole back. do it to like try to hurt your feelings or like try to be mean like you gotta understand that there's rules in certain places everywhere there's rules you know what i mean and you gotta remember that no matter what you gotta be honest that's my big thing honestly if you would have told me yeah i recorded that fight because i wanted to i would have respected it. i would have been like damn but i would have respected that more than you like you know giving excuses or something like that just telling it how it is no matter how bad it is you know what i mean yeah so we're about to get ready to go to the next spot go get yourself together and we're gonna head over there okay that's at that moment i knew i had fucked up you know so i felt emotional and i was emotional because you know when she told me i can come when she when we were talking and i thought it was the end i thought it was over you know because i'm like damn i fuck up every opportunity at least you fuck us so um yeah i was emotional because when she when she told me i could stay i was not expecting that so take your stuff go back in the house put your stuff back down and get ready okay okay So Jania gets to the house and she wanted me and Juju to make up, which I respected that. And you know, Juju did apologize. What what happened? What started it? I don't know what she went in the house for. Mm -hmm. And um the two other girls came to sit down and she was basically saying she was sitting right there like I didn't hold her seat for her. Mm -hmm. So I told her, I said, there's no assigned seat on the bus. We're all going to the same place. So it's not you know, you don't have to make it a problem. Like, it's not that serious. Right. And she was so like, bitch, I'll smack the shit out of you. And I was like, I'm gonna smack the, I, if you smack me, I'm gonna smack you right back. She was right. supposed to be beating on y'all. No, let me tell you straight up. It's gonna be up with anybody. If you think you're to try to disrespect me, it's gonna be up with But you disrespecting her first, like, honestly. You are, who you are, I don't, that shit. But, Honestly, my point of view of like when I walked up and saw like everything that was going on, you did say, I'm going to smack you. And she said, well, I'm going to hit you back. That was indicating like, well, if you hit me, I'm going to hit you. You get what I'm saying? She didn't say, well, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. Da, 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 da. Or she could have she could have got up like, oh, you going to slap me? Well, slap me. Got in your face. It was more so like she was sitting down. Yes, she was talking you shit. But you was more so like, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it with you right now. It was the aggressor. 
in that situation because she did it was hard. I just feel like it was really pointless. It was over yeah. a seat. Mm -hmm. You guys ended up fighting for no reason. Mm -hmm. You hear her, she felt the type of way, which anybody would have felt the type of way because you felt like she snuck you, so you wanted your lick back. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like you guys just need to squash it. There's no need to argue. There's no need to like, y'all get in the car, this person get in the car. Like you guys should be able to be in the same room and not be like scared to watch your back like, oh, this girl about to do me something in here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So do you think that you guys can squash it? Y'all good? I mean, I have no problem with her, but I just felt like she started it with me. It wasn't that big of a deal. And I was just being weird with her. Like we're going to the same place. So I'm not why I fight over a seat? I didn't disrespect her in any way. Even when she was still talking, I was still standing down, like, you know, minding my business. She still was like, just going on, so. So, whether I started or not, I just apologize. Hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. Very, like, um, this is where I felt like you were coming for me. Like, and I don't know why I feel like that, but when I feel like I'm coming, I'm paying for it, I retaliate, and that's just, I don't know why. How can you feel I'm coming for you like when I never me. disrespect you, I never called you out your name, I didn't say, oh, bitch, blah, 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 this, nothing like that. It when was I, just when the I, arguing. When I, when, I, when I was talking to you, I was really calm because you even tried to start another argument with them saying, why y'all sitting on my, on my stuff? And she tried and to they, me I pick battles. And they wasn't know. even sitting on your stuff. They wasn't even sitting on your stuff, so I feel like you was already angry. And you try to take the anger out on me. Because they wasn't running they live like she was. But I wasn't. <laughs> shit, though. <laughs> like, she was not. Yeah. Now you just trying to talk. Because I, I, I just explained myself. I don't know you are on season. That's the real life. Me too. I really I do that. that. I really do that. And I let you know that last night when my mom and everybody was asleep. Okay, so look. I ain't gonna even cap you. I'm from the hood. I could tell when a bitch don't fight. You could tell. You could sense. I could sense when a bitch don't fight. Or a bitch don't be on it. Real shit. And the way, like, how she did it, honestly, that shit wouldn't need no apology. You ain't hear that girl say, damn, I fucked up. I apologize for punching you how I punched you. I apologize for hitting you. Like, she ain't apologize for that shit. The fuck? I don't know who the fuck. I'm sorry. I would could never be me. But you punch me like that, it will never be a sorry, bitch. I'm going to beat you up every time I get a chance. Like, I'm going to beat you up when we wake up. I'm going to beat you up when we go to sleep. I'm going to beat you up when we eat. I'm going to beat you up. I beat you up all the time and don't let me whoop your ass because then I'm going to bully you. Like, bitch, you shouldn't have punched me like that. You got to get your leg back for that. I guess, though. Bitch, you ain't playing with me last night because, bitch, you damn sure ain't telling me that you was going to slap me. We can do whatever you want to do, sis. Oh. Every chance. We can do whatever we want to do. Every chance. You want to slap me? Every Everyone is attacking Juju. Everyone feels like she's wrong. She shouldn't have did it. She's a bully. She's not. She knew who to play with. And um, I think Pluto, um, Pluto felt a little too strong about it because Pluto asked her to do that to her. And Juju told her, you don't want that. And I just can't believe Juju said that. But I must admit, Juju didn't stand up one time. So maybe she was just tired of fighting. She just wanted to peace in the house. We might as well just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You guys, you guys are, you guys are good. Yeah. Good. I don't want it's you just telling me that. Like, no, no, no. I feel some type no, of way. No, no, I, I already honest. explained how I felt. I'm okay. good. Okay. Yeah. You good? I'm good. Okay. Y'all good? I'm good. I'm just not. Y'all can. Y'all can put that no for sure. Ain't hey, nobody. Yeah. So you think y'all can shake, sh shake hands? Shake I mean, I'm not gonna shake her hand because okay. I feel like she wronged me. Okay. But I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I can respect. And that. I did hear her apologize earlier, so I do accept her apology. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Ma'am, what? I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna talk. I'm not even. No, say how you feel. What? You're not gonna even lie. What? No. Okay. Well, maybe it shouldn't be said, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay. All right. As long as you guys are good, we good. Okay. All right, cool. So y'all ready to finish eating and head to where we need to go? Yeah. Are you always getting dressed? Like, uh, oh, y'all got a few minutes to get dressed. What?
Fake bitch. Damn, I'm sorry. Fake bitch. I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. I love you, bitch. My bad. You. Fake bitch. <laughs> I ain't do nothing, girl. By girl, this shit is the fakest court. bitch in the house. You got fakest bitch kidding. in the house. Well, that's how you feel, baby. Talk shit change. about everybody. Go oh. come to me, buddy, buddy. Like, oh, Who girl. Who do I talk shit about? Oh, girl, I want to talk about me. Oh, girl, I'm about to move. This is trying. Oh, huh? girl, we should live together, but we got to live with my kids in Houston because I got to go back and this and huh? that. We should like, live together. Bitch, I said, did you I, not I, said I, I said I'm moving down here. You told me that. I said I should move me and my you kids said, oh, down but, here. You was like, oh, but I'm on a Section 8 housing. Did you not tell me that you were yeah. on Section 8? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, but I never said I was going to move with okay. you. So, hold on, Section you, 8. Why the fuck would I want to move with you, you bitch? You, you was like, oh, because I got to move with you. Why would I move with you? And get you house. don't even live down you here yet. my kids get a house. You don't even live down here yet. You said you moved. So now we're on to the last challenge. The girls have to kill this. Cause if not, I mean, let's just see how they do. Oh, 